Good evening, everyone, and <laughs> I'm ready to have a coughing fit. <coughs> I took a sip of hot cocoa <coughs> and I inhaled it before I got a chance. <laughs> okay, me <laughs> keeping things real. <coughs> oh my goodness. This would technically go in the blooper section, but <clears throat> I keep it as real as possible. So let me try this all over again. I apologize. It's snowing here. Been outside shoveling. It's just been one of those days where it's been sleeting and it's just a mess. And I just came in from outside a little while ago. I'm <coughs> cold. I'm damp. I'm blah. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth, and my channel name is Town Girl. Okay, I'm done moaning and groaning. I have a Dollar Tree haul this year with all of you, but I want to share something first. So, the last Dollar Tree haul I did, I showed you the gnomes that I had picked up. There is one that comes in this green, which... Me? Where is my ruler? Are you serious? Okay, I have to get up and walk away from you all, and I don't normally do something like this, but I need my ruler. So bear with me a moment here. Oi! Okay, I am back. All right, so the last time I did a Dollar Tree haul, I hauled these gnomes. Now, these are, you know, they're ceramic. There's this... Uh, little hole here in the bottom, but oh my God, they are really, really, really cute, but very, very, very hard to find. Um, I'm shocked that I found these. Um, I've had no luck with the Easter Nomies. Um, if it wasn't for all of my family subscribers here, I wouldn't have found any. Um, this guy measures... It's just shy of five inches. And the only reason for that is because of the tip of his hat, okay? So they have three different colors. <clears throat> this green, which in my opinion, I'm not fond of, but hey, that's just me. They also have a pink one and they also have a blue one. The pink is a light pastel color. The blue one is a pastel color. And then they went and did this like really dark green. I mean, it's a dark green. Why didn't they do like a mint green or a yellow or something like that? I think would have been perfect or a purple. So I was kind of like, you know what? I'm really not a fan of the green, but in my mind, I'm going, okay, I'm going to change it up. So I made a comment and I said, I'm going to paint mine purple. And that's exactly what I did. And by the way, I did get a couple of these because I didn't want to lose out. Even though I wasn't a big fan of the color, I didn't want to lose out on them. So I am going to show you my version. I finished this this afternoon, actually. I put a picture up on my community page and I put one up on Instagram. So here is the original one and here is the modified one. So here's the one from Dollar Tree. This is the one from Dollar Tree, but I did mine in purple. I also added some glitter. So, you know, this is where you have to go. Okay, I'm not going to pass it up because I'm not a fan of the color because I can change that. And that is exactly what I did. And I really like the purple much better because that's me. So don't pass up on something just because you're not real happy with the color. Because the color, I mean, obviously, depending on the item, you have to change the color. You have to think about the item first. And is it worth a color change? How much trouble is it going to be to change the color? And to be quite honest with you, the worst part of that whole job is taping off the face and trying to get around the best that you can. But, um... I kind of found a way that I think works, and um, so many of you had, have asked for a video. I'm actually going to do a video of me taping off the gnome and then um, giving it a first coat of paint because if I do the process all the way through, it would take a really long video. So I have to figure out either I break it down or some way to work it out, but it's really not hard. 
It's a little time consuming, but other than that, it's not hard and I think anybody can do it. All right, so Dollar Tree haul. I picked up some flags, some yard flags for um, grandpa and myself, but I didn't have the uh, metal flag poles. So these are actually 35.5 inches. Here you've got the two piece on the bottom where you put it into your uh, ground, your grass. And then if I bring it all the way down here because I can't get the whole thing in my camera, um, here is your piece and then here's your hook where you can hang your flag. I don't know if I have, I found another flag with the gnome on it. So if I have it in this Dollar Tree haul, I'll put one on this and I'll show you to you. But like coming back this far, you can see, you know, it's a decent size for sure. All right, let me grab my laundry basket here and let me hurl it over. Ooh, literally my laundry basket. Okay, so let's see. It is so crappy outside. It's unbelievable. Okay, Glade, there's going to be, yeah, I'm just pulling whatever comes up, comes up. All right, Glade, brand name. We always love that. Limited edition sky and sea salt. I love sea salt. Um, of course, I'm not going to eat this, but I love sea salt. This is eight ounces, so it's the full size. I sprayed this earlier, and I just used like a little puff. Um, to me, it does. It's just fresh. It smells like anybody that has been to the ocean or the beach knows that smell. Not that, you know, you don't get the fishy smell or anything like that. It's just a beautiful fresh, like a fresh, oh, you know, picture yourself in a hammock, swaying to and fro to the rhythm of the music and your toes in the sand, you know, and the waves going in and out. It's just a soothing, fresh smell. Alrighty. I hauled a couple of these little containers and I found this one that I didn't see last time. And this is considered just a bucket or whatever you want it to be. It holds 24.5 ounces. This one has little chicks and eggs on it and it's done in a pretty little yellow. You basically untwist it and there you go. It does have a rubber seal on here. So you do get, you know, some, it fits nice. So you're getting some air tightness. I don't know how great, but isn't this just cute to give to something, you know, put some chalk in there, maybe a box of chalk or I don't know. There's just lots of little treats you can put in there for somebody special. All right. Um, I did find a couple new bath sponges. I thought these were kind of funny. So I found three different ones. I don't know how many there are, um, but yeah, these are kind of different. So let's get a measurement here. This first one I am pretty sure it's a bunny. I could be wrong. I haven't been, you know, I've been wrong before. If you measure from top to bottom, they're measuring all about five and a half inches. Okay, so they do have this little um, hanger thing. So this one here, I'm pretty sure that that's a bunny. This is just a tag. Don't worry about that. You can always cut it off. But this is, you know, it's a really nice sponge back here because when you squish it, it takes a while to come back and it's got almost like a little bit of a loofah effect on the back. So anyways, that to me looks like a bunny. How cute would that be to put into like an Easter basket? Then they had the little pig. <laughs> they had this little piggy. So for those of you that like little pigs, it does have a little hanger as well. There's the little pig. And then last but not least, I'm wondering if I can fix this somehow just to show you all because his horn doesn't quite stick up where it should. Um, anyways, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a unicorn -y. Looks like one to me, but his horn doesn't quite, you know, well, what can I say? <laughs> we just play with it a little bit and it'll stand up straight. So, okay, there we got a unicorn. He also has a string. All right, moving on. We also found, <clears throat> listen to me, we also found Shore Fresh, which is a brand name. I mean, it's been around for a long time. Three, yes, three, three reusable round containers, 
three of them for a buck. They also had them in a square shape. They had three, but they didn't have any colors that matched. So the only two that I could find that did match were these bowls. And you know what? Three bowls with lids for a buck. Come on, there's no brainer there. You get a 450 milliliter, so let me break it down in ounces. You get a 15.2 ounce fluid, a 27.4 ounce, and a 47 fluid ounce. So you get a 1 ninth cup, 3 fourths cup, and a 5 eighths cup. They nestle in there nice for storing. They're clear so you can see what's in there. Perfect for some fruit. Perfect for, you know, anything that you want. Just something a little bit small in there. A great salad. You want to take a salad to work. So six containers for a dollar. Can't beat it. Just cannot beat it. Also came across some of the Breezy. And this one just has the five extra sheets. You know, five extra sheets. Ooh, I'm not going to get my panties all wet or anything. But five extra sheets. You know, I needed some anyway. So I grabbed this one. This is in the uh, Sun Sky Fresh. It does smell really nice. I don't like to put anything really super scented because then if I feel like if you wear perfume and stuff like that, it starts to like all get funky. But this is a nice scent and you know, 55 for a buck, not bad. And quite frankly, these sheets are big enough that if you really wanted to save money, you could take one of these sheets, just cut it in half. You don't need a whole dryer sheet if you don't, you know, if you're doing just like small, medium loads, even a large load, you don't need a big fabric softener sheet like that, in just my opinion. <clears throat> popcorn! I had a taste for popcorn the other day, and I don't get a taste for popcorn very often, except for my caramel corn. And I was like, I have no popcorn in the house. So, I picked up some Pop Weaver, which is a brand name. This one you get three bags in here so yeah, you know but it is what it is three bags for a buck I can't complain you get uh the bags are 6.44 ounces in total so I picked up the butter flavored and then I oh yeah yeah I picked up the extra butter flavored not because it has a purple stripe even though that was very appealing to me no um I was just curious to see because just because it says butter doesn't mean it's you know everybody's taste buds are different so I got one of each so that gives me six packs to have some in the house to you know next time I have a attack I will um have some okay now bear with me just one second let me gather these together all right Betty Crocker she's been around for a long long time all right these are super super cute and I know for a fact that these are way more than a buck in the stores these are Betty Crocker candy cake decorations. You get 24 pieces in a package. The package is 1.2 ounces. And this one has, let me bring it in close for you. It has all kinds of Easter eggs and flowers. Adorable for on top of a cupcake. Actually, they have a pattern here on the back. So you could put it on your cupcake, you could put it on a cake, you could do all kinds of things. I mean, these things are like, does it even say? It doesn't say, there's no price tag on here, but I know these are like three, four bucks in the store. I'm very happy to see made in the USA. I like to give that a shout out. That's important to me. Um, so I did pick up two of those. I also found two more, also Betty Crocker. Um, same ounce, 1.2, 24 pieces. And this one has a whole bunch of baby chicks. I thought that would be great for a top of a cupcake. So you have them in a couple different colors there. You basically have, there's your four different colors. These might come off looking the same, but they're not. This one has more of a peach tone. This is a lighter yellow. And then you have a darker yellow. So there is a difference. So there's four different colors. So I grabbed two packs of those as well. Um, this I thought was super cute. And again, I'm bouncing all over the place here. These are a package of four. These are regular size um, clothes pins, the kind you push with the spring. But they got little bodies. 
You get four in a package. Are those cute or what? So you got blue with the white dots or pink with the white dots. And then you got the purple and the blue. Now you can make these easily at home by yourself. Get yourself a bag of clips, get some paint, get a brush, paint them, put whatever felt bunnies you want on there or put anything you want on there. Super easy to make. Uh, if I give a measurement from the top of the bunny's ear down to the bottom of the clothespin, it's exactly four inches. So I picked up two packages because I thought you could clip this on someone's Easter gift, on an Easter basket, just something a little bit fun, you know? Okay, I came across a couple of signs I thought were pretty cool. They come out with these double-sided, um, <clears throat> they call them like street signs. They're basically like a thin cardboard, you know, bendable. If you try to bend them, you could bend them. So there's a different saying on each side. If I give you a measurement, does it give me a measurement? Of course not. That would make it too easy for me. These are 13 inches long by eight and a half inches wide. Now these are wrapped in plastic. So please don't pay any attention to this because this is just part of the plastic. So on the first side, it says good vibes. And then on the second side, it says chill out. For those of us that like the tie dye, this is perfect. So it's kind of like two treats in one, you know, I'm one, maybe one day you're feeling this way and the next day you're feeling that way. I did find another one and I'm not sure how many are out there, but this one really caught my eye because I like the eyelash thing. Um, and this one just says, hello, gorgeous. And it has like a light, it almost matches the paint back there, which I think I finally nailed down a color because I love purple. It's, I, it's just the room in general. And for those of you that have been with me, know what I'm talking about. Um, so I thought this was pretty cool. Again, don't pay attention to this. And then the other side says Babe Cave. I thought that was pretty cool. I was, um, yeah, that was different. So I grabbed one of those. Again, I don't know how many there are. That's just what I found. And then I came across these chalkboards, which I think they're just fun. I mean, obviously, if you have a hotel or maybe you have a bed and breakfast, you would probably get more use out of something like this. But I also think this is fun, like when you have guests coming over or you're having a party and there's every kid in the house is on their cell phone. You know, everybody wants to know the Wi-Fi password. So these kind of come in handy. So if you're having a party, you can always toss one of these up and uh, nobody has to ask you the question 150 times. They are 10 inches wide by 12 inches. So they're wrapped in plastic. You get a piece of white chalk. They do have a little hanging string in here. And this one says, hello, welcome. Wi-Fi password is, and then you can write your Wi-Fi password on there. So there was this version, which I thought was pretty cool. The next one is the same size, also comes with a white piece of chocolate, a white piece of chocolate. Listen to me, yeah, don't eat this because it's a white piece of chalk, not chocolate. And some of them, a majority of the chalks were broken. So like this one here is perfect. This one's broken. So don't get all too hyper on your chalk because most likely it's going to be broken. The next one I found says the Wi-Fi password is, which I thought was kind of cool. So there's two versions of it. I kind of like this one better. And then there was one other version. I don't know how many more there were. <clears throat> this one says free Wi-Fi. The password is, and then it says you're welcome. So there it is. I think out of the three, I would have to say that this one is my favorite. I kind of like, you know, the little bloop bloop and then you put your password right here. And obviously it depends on how big your password is too, but I would say this is my favorite. This would be my second and that would be my third. But hey, that's just me. <laughs> Plows like crazy out there, like crazy. And I'm so glad they're out there, but man, those men and women out there right now plowing, it's crazy outside. 
Oi. Okay. I did pick up a few packages of Russell Stover because Grandpa put in some wish list items and said, um, when you go into Dollar Tree? I said, oh, yeah, let me know, Grandpa. I'll hook you up. No problem. So I picked Grandpa up two packages of the Russell Stover Caramels. This is the 2.95 ounce. Whoops. And there is what it looks like. So I got him some of those. He likes those. I actually got him two packs of those. He likes those. And then I haven't seen these for a while and he really likes these. This is the um, marshmallow and caramel milk chocolate. So you not only get caramel in there, you get marshmallow too. And that makes it yummy. This is 2.95 ounces as well. And there you can actually see right there the caramel and the marshmallow. So I got two packages of each. So that should keep them going for the weekend. Um, Grandpa likes the sweets. I mean, at 81, you do what makes you happy. <laughs> That's all I got to say. All right. Um, I picked up a couple cards. I'm not sure if I can share them because they're like friend mail cards. Mm -mm. Yeah, I can't share them. I'm sorry because I know that the personal. All right, never mind. Let's go somewhere different. All right, notebooks. Not only notebooks, but hardbound notebooks and they're Spyro too. I and everybody knows how much I love those. All right, first of all, the stickers on the back come off. Thank goodness for that. You get 80 sheets. The sheets are lined and these measure. Seven inches by five inches. Again, heartbound, spiral, gorgeous, hashtag gorgeous. And then there is your inside. This sticker does come off. Who pooped for that? Finally took off my crappy nail polish. I'm trying to decide, should I just like get the ones at the Dollar Tree and do them like everyone else is doing them or go get them done. And I don't know what I want to do. I don't know. Uh, the next book, 80 pages, spiral bound, hashtag awesome. Now this would have been a perfect color for the gnome, right? Don't you think this would have been a much better color than this green? I don't know. It... I don't know. I'm just being anal. Okay, so hashtag awesome. There's your inside. Oop. Last but not least, hashtag extra. I love the color, but I wish they had a different wording on there, but that's okay. Also 80 sheets and lined on the inside. Doot, doot. Oh, wait, you know what? I do. I came... I found two more of the gnomes. So you know what? Let's check this out real quick. I'll do the best I can for you. I just want to see what they look like on the Dollar Tree hooks. Let's see. All right. Hopefully I can pull this off without knocking the camera over. All right. So for those of you that haven't seen these, I should show them, shouldn't I? Okay, these are garden flags. They're 12, um, 12 and a half by 18 inches. I happen to find a couple with the gnome pattern. I think I have like four now. And um, I was super, super excited to find the gnome pattern. So what I'm gonna do is show you all, I'm not quite sure how to put these on. I would assume, because I've never had one. I've never had one of these. So I don't, aren't, aren't you supposed to like hang them like this? Because it has a string. So I'm assuming you could go either or, or am I losing it? So I'm gonna try to slip it on with the piece that's in there, but maybe you're not supposed to. Um. Okay, so yeah, this is live. And this is how I roll. Someone's probably going, Beth, you're totally doing it wrong. So. Let me, <laughs> I'm gonna assume you don't need that string, right? And you just slide it on the stick. All right, let me try this again. Oi, the girl can build a motor, but she can't put a flag on a pole. Oh my goodness. And I'm probably gonna put it the wrong way, but you know what? Let's just do this and get it over with. 
I don't mean it to be mean, but I guess I made it probably more complicated than it needs to be. So I'm going to assume you probably get rid of this string that I have here. So let's pretend that's not there, okay? And I'm not sure how well, well, obviously me, I would probably end up ironing this. I would put it between two um, either dish towels or two towels because obviously you can't put an iron on that. So if you wanted to get rid of those, you could do that. But isn't that, it would help if I turn, turn it the right way, right? Oh my God. Is it Friday night? What's in my hot cocoa? It's only Thursday night. All right. Does this look better? God, so many, I swear, I'm not stoned, I haven't been drinking, I'm being normal, and this is pretty sad, because I, here we go, does that look better? Oh my gosh, I hope somebody's laughing with me. These are actually pretty sturdy. There is what it looks like. Um, this looks much better. Now you can exactly read that it says, keep life simple. It's absolutely adorable. I can't wait to put that up in the yard. So if you were wondering what that looked like, ta-da! All right, let's, let's move on out of there. All right, hoy. The bubble gum jars. Oh, I went into the Dollar Tree and as I was checking out, I looked back and I saw them on the shelf, but my hands were already full and I was like, you know what? They got a bunch. I'm going to go down the road and do what I have to do and then I'm going to come back and get them. That was a huge risk for me because that's something that I don't normally do, but it was really early in the morning. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to try it and get away with it. If it doesn't work, then I screwed myself and I have no one to blame but myself. So I went somewhere else, went back, they were still there, and I grabbed me a few. Okay, these are really cute. Now, they measure, first of all, they're made of plastic. The first one measures six inches, and there it is. I'm not sure how well, let me see if I can get, let's try this blackboard here. Don't pay attention to the words, but here is the color it is, which is a beautiful light blue. As you can see, it's in the shape of an Easter egg. How adorable is that? So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna twist off the top, put in your yum yums, turn it over obviously, and then twist it over. And when you turn this little mechanism, there is, can you see those three holes there? It actually turns and drops out whatever you want. OMG, are this, is that adorable? You could fill this up with anything, jelly beans. Um, so great for a kid's Easter basket, great for on someone's desk. Oh my gosh. Now, my, I did pick up a few of them because I knew they would be like zooming out the door really, really quick. And I wanna give some away for friend mail. And I want to also do a couple different things as well. All right, let me just move those out of my basket. So I got a couple of those. And then, and this one is my favorite. I mean, I like the Easter egg, but this is more my favorite. I actually got five of these. This measures six inches as well. It's the Easter Bunny. Let me get my board here. Oh my God, it's so cute. Look at this. So there's the pink. Can you see the Easter Bunny? I don't know how well. There is an actual face. Here's the eyes. Here's the nose. So cute. Again, you just twist, twist her head off, fill it up. So adorable. At the Dollar Tree right now, um, they have in this section where they have all the candies and sweets, you could pick multiple different types of candies to break apart like I do and fill it in here. Jelly beans. They also have these little itty bitty, I don't know how many come in a package. I want to say 10, but I'm not 100% sure. And they're little Easter Bunny erasers. 
If you wanted just for decorative purposes for your tear trays, fill this up with those erasers. You could do anything. So yes, I did get a couple of them. Like I said, I got five because I think these are just gonna be adorable to decorate with. And you know what? They're gonna be gone like that. Because in my opinion, these things are all that and a bag of chips dipped in salsa. Now that is the shizzle, I'm telling you. Okay, let's move on. I did find some plush, but not any gnomies. No gnomies to be found. Oh my gosh, I don't know what the deal is out here on the East Coast with gnomies. But again, thank you to all my subscribers that hooked me up on Valentine's Day. Ah, uh, I started a video. I didn't get in front of all of you like I had hoped to for Valentine's Day because of the situation with Kahlua. But I still have all my decorations up. So if you all still would like to see my decorations, please give me a hit up below. Hit, please give me a hit down below, not up below. Please give me a hit below and let me know if you want to see the video. And I'll be more than happy to show it to you. In fact, I'm going to be leaving my decorations up for Valentine's Day probably through March, only for the fact that I don't really do much for St. Patrick's Day, only because I'm, well, first of all, I'm not Irish. You know, I am Italian, um, but I just don't really do much for it. So maybe I'm thinking though that I'll do a three-tier tray. Um, that way I can at least have a little something, something. All right, these I think are kind of cute. <laughs> Oh, where's my ruler now? Oh my goodness. I really need a sip of my hot cocoa. My bad. Mm. It must be the Jack Daniels that's in there that's making me loopy. I'm kidding. All right. It's not so hot anymore. Okay, so these are kind of cute. They're not my gnomies, but they're cute. They are Fuzzy Friends, which um, is the Dollar, Gen uh, Dollar General. Oh, my God. Listen to me. That's the Dollar Tree brand. This measures seven inches. So let me fix his face a little. You can see the ears. I'm going to say that this is a puppy. <laughs> I could be wrong. I'm not sure. So you guys have to let me know. So I found this little puppy. I'm sure once you fluff him up a little bit and twist him around, he'll look a little better. Super squishy, but so adorable to stick in somebody's Easter bunny basket, especially if they have a puppy like that. The next one is the exact same size. Let me fix this one's face a little. This one has a loose thread. Let me take care of that. Okay, let me just fix her up a little. This one, I'm pretty sure, is a lamb. There it is. Aren't those little things cute? And the ears are purple on the back. What were the color ears of this one? This ears on the back were pink. This one's purple. And then I found one other one. I don't know how many different ones there are. This was just what I found out by me here in New York. So there was those two and then the chick. And the chick has blue ears on the back. They're all the same size. The chick looks a little bit bigger because it's just a little wider. But there's the three that I found. Perfect for an Easter basket or just because. Alrighty. Then Dollar Tree. <laughs> I mean, I know how they buy, but it's just amazing sometimes some of the stuff that comes through the doors um, that you see on TV or other places, you know, $19.95, and then you walk into Dollar Tree, and there it is sitting for a buck. Um, this is wall wear removable stickers. The first thing I thought of when I saw this was just like, wow, this there's no way that this didn't go for more than a dollar. The other thing that I saw was, first of all, made in the USA, but it's from Chicago, Illinois, and I can prove it by right there on the box. So I was really psyched to see that. That's home, always will be. So this is removable stickers, and what it says is wild and free, but then you're going to get all of these stickers included. So you're going to get... Uh, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You're getting 12 PVC free stickers to go on the wall. I mean, these things are like 10, 15 bucks at Walmart. I was like, what? Unreal. So I snagged me one of those. I needed some new plastic spoons in the house. And this was the first time I had ever seen washable, heavy, extra heavy duty. You get 36 pieces. It's by a company called Imperial. And these are gargantuan ones. They're not, I mean, they are like, well, I show you my spoon. Now that's a spoon. Super thick, which I like. I like it a lot. And this measures seven and a half inches. I was pleased to find those. Those little skimpy ones, they never do the trick. And they're washable cutlery spoons. You get 36 extra heavy. They didn't have knives. They didn't have forks, at least not out in my area. If they did, I would have grabbed them for sure. Because I think that's a great buy. Especially when you need that kind of stuff. Every now and then you need something like that. Um, I try to recycle as much as I possibly can. Alrighty, alrighty, what else did I find? What else? Oh, I did find, I actually got two of these because I thought it was just so cute. This is a big one too. Nothing Nomi. I haven't found any Nomi signs. I haven't found any Nomi plush 12. This is 20 inches long by six inches. So you get a little ribbon that you could use to attach if you want, or you can totally disregard that and do whatever you want. And then it says, every bunny welcome. Isn't that adorable? It's not like crazy, but I just love the fact that they used all these pretty pastel colors. Whoop, can't see me. I love the fact they used all these pretty pastel colors and then did the bunny. I, I don't know, it's just inviting to me. I, I just like the way it looks. So that's why I ended up getting two of them. So I thought that was a pretty good buy. I also came across a couple more egg coloring kits. Now these are by Nickelodeon and doo -doo -doo. how many do you get in here? All right, of course I had to drop something. I'm telling you, this is gonna be the night of the, the wackiest blooper video. Nickelodeon Paw Patrol. We were just talking about Paw Patrol. Easter egg decorating kit contains five color tablets, one egg dipper, and 57 stickers. And that is what it looks like. And there is what it looks like on the back. And then the other one that I came across is LOL. And there they are. And you get the exact same thing, the egg dipper, the color tablets, and your stickers. Just a reminder, make sure you pick up your bottles of vinegar because why pay two, three bucks at the store, regular stores? Dollar Tree has your vinegar for a dollar and you're gonna need vinegar for all your egg coloring kits pretty much. All the eight coloring kits I notice now, most of them take vinegar. So just a little something to keep up there in the brain. I came across a couple new pens. My gosh, I need like a desk that goes all the way around the house. Me and my pens. All righty, let's get you a measurement here. First of all, they all write in black ink. They are all the ones that you have to pull the cap off. They all measure nine inches. And this basically is just considered a novelty pen, but they do write. This first one is all white. This comes off, this is your tag. So it's a white fluff ball. And then inside this is like a plastic, fluffy, puffy cloud. I'm gonna turn it over because inside there's all these iridescent little hearts and stars. So when you shake it around, you can see how pretty it is. So there's that one. This is what I meant by the removable cap. Ba-bum, ba-bum. 
Sound effects are free. Just kidding. I think I was in the snow too long today. Okay, this next one here, little lopsided. Let me try to fix it. Okay, this one is a pink and it's a princess crown. And inside the princess crown, let me shake it down. You can see all these pink, two-tone pink, little star shapes that shake about the pen when you move it about. This one's a pink fuzzy ball, same size, writes in the black ink. They then had this purple fuzzy one, and this has a big bubbled star on top. And let me shake it up a little. This one here has all kinds of glimmery purple stars. That's a cool pen. I like that. Last but not least, this one is like a robin egg blue. There's the pen and it has this cool bubbled star and it's got like this, yeah, I'm gonna say robin egg blue is about the best color I can give it. And the star inside has about the exact same color and they're all iridescent so they sparkle really well. There's a good shot of the sparkle up close. So th those are pretty cool. All right, where are we at with time? Oy, I could, but I think I'm gonna make you guys wait. Or should I not? Or should I, should I? No, I'm gonna make you guys wait. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this Dollar Tree haul. Um, It looks like I have another Dollar Tree haul to do. I'm not sure if I'll see you again tonight, but you never know. Time to go shovel some more. Until next time, everyone. If you are in the areas that are being affected by this insane weather, which is like hitting everybody in the world right now, um, please be safe. Make sure you're checking on people who are not used to this kind of weather and make sure you take care of yourself. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.